We need to head to Natland next. Never I called it a nation of dragons, but that description doesn't give us much to go off of. Exactly! Even when Inazuma was completely closed off, we still managed to run into people from there and other nations. Huh. Could it be that there are no humans in Natland? Yes, yes. That look of surprise and excitement is perfect. Hold it right there. Now look at the camera and big smiles on three. Ready? Okay, just make sure you get Paimon's good side. Wait, hang on a minute. What's with the photo shoot, Charlotte? Well, I heard you two were about to leave for the next part of your journey. After everything you did for Fontaine, the Steambird simply had to follow up on a scoop like that. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be short on material once you're gone. Oh, so you knew we were leaving. We don't need a big send-off. That's not really our thing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not your style, but we got to thinking. And, well, a little change never hurt anyone, right? Uh, we? <sighs> All those obstacles we overcame side by side. Oh, feels like it was just yesterday. Don't be a stranger now, partner. If you encounter any troubles along your journey, you need only let us know, no matter the distance between us. Partings are inevitable, of course. But distance makes the heart grow fonder, right? One thing will never change, though. We'll always have the memories we made together during this time. Whoa, you're all here! Already thinking about taking time off? Any excuse for a party, huh? But yes, you can count on us. <laughs> we wouldn't let you miss out on all the fun. Well, in light of your impending departure, shall we take a photo together? Ooh, great idea! We even have a professional photographer with us. Charlotte, would you do us the honor? Leave it to me, but just give me a moment to set the camera up. Oh, by the way, you're overthinking the whole Natlan issue, Paimon. Natlan has human inhabitants and its own unique culture, just like Fontaine. It's just that, because of their local customs, the native people choose not to leave. They're not unwelcoming to outsiders, though. People travel there for business and leisure alike, and usually return with nothing but good things to say. Many members of the Spina have visited in the past, too. Well, that's a relief. Hopefully we don't get swept up in any major drama this time. Well... Given your experience and skill in that regard, I have no doubt you'll be able to overcome anything that comes your way. Still, I hope you can avoid danger this time around. An uneventful trip might be a nice change of pace. Alright, I'm ready. Shall we? Well then, traveler. Bon voyage! Safe travels, traveler. You're welcome back anytime. If you let us know in advance, we could arrange even more people to greet you when you return. That would be quite the lively affair. There's a place in Natland that produces precious stones. Next time there's a lull in my work, I gotta go pay it a visit. One picture to publish, and one to keep for myself. Perfect. So this is Natlan! 
so many strange mountains and so many animals Paimon has never seen before! Uh... Huh. Doesn't look like there are any cities around here, though. Where should we start? Good idea! Finding people means we can learn information about the local Archon. And once we've met the Archon, we should have a better idea of what to expect during our journey. Well, Paimon hopes this one is easy to get along with. As long as we don't get on their bad side, we should be fine. Come on, let's keep following the road. Solidify! Yoo-hoo! Settle down!
I'm sorry, Kachina. I know it's not right for us to go back on our word like this, but Kempoa and I have to do well during this pilgrimage. You can't seem to find other people to join our team, and we don't have time to sit around and wait. But, but if you two leave, I'll be the only one left. We really are sorry, but you still have plenty of chances. You're young, and you bear an ancient name on top of that. We're just ordinary tribal warriors with years of battle under our belts and no glory to show for it. Not to mention the physical toll of all that fighting. We're no longer in our prime. Uh, we barely had a chance last time, remember? We can't expect a better result with even fewer people. Pilgrimage registration closes tonight. This is our last chance to switch teams. It is what it is. I just wish I was stronger. I'm nothing compared to the other ancient name bearers. But never mind. Guess this is just par for the course as Uthabiti, huh? I'm sure I'll figure something out. Well, if we do well this time, there's still a spot for you at the victory feast. Yeah, even though we're not participating in the competition together, we're still friends, aren't we? Of course. Anyway, you guys should get going before it's too late. Go form a really strong team, okay? <sighs> Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Looks like that little girl over there was just abandoned. Wonder what happened. Oh, she looks so sad, too. Huh? Oh, gosh, um... I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Wait, I haven't seen you around the tribe before. Are you travelers? Yep, we just got to Natland. Oh, welcome, welcome! I'm Kachina. Uthapiti Kachina. Oh, that's something we call an ancient name. It's a tradition we have here in Natlan, although it's kind of complicated to explain. You can think of it like a title for now. If you're here for the pilgrimage of the return of the Sacred Flame, you'll find out what they mean soon enough. So, this pilgrimage, is that what you were discussing earlier? Oh, yeah! It's a competition we hold every so often where everyone competes to try and get the highest ranking. The competition receives tons of attention, so if you place highly, you're guaranteed instant acclaim, and you earn the right to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Basically, the winners become heroes, 
And that's pretty much everyone's goal around here. Sounds like a massive fighting tournament or something. Do you have to be in a team to participate? Well, due to the sheer number of participants, the pilgrimage is actually divided into two phases. Phase one is a team competition. Usually an ancient name bearer serves as the team captain and leads their team in various battles around that one with the goal of capturing sacred flame. Oh, and an ancient name bearer is just someone with one of those titles I mentioned earlier. Someone like me. Once the team competition is over, the participants from the winning teams qualify to take part in individual one-on-one -on -one matches. Yeah, the skill seems pretty huge. Wait a minute. If ancient name bearers lead the teams, that means you must be a team captain. Sure am. Although, I don't exactly have any team members anymore. <laughs> the key to winning is in the strength of the team captain. That's what everyone says, but uh... The difference in strength between bearers can practically be night and day. So, their decision does make sense. I'd feel the same way if I were in their shoes. All ancient name bearers have to take part. It's our duty. So if no one wants to be on my team, then I'll just go it alone. At worst, I'm looking at a few extra scrapes and scratches. I'm not great at fighting, but I always manage to get back on my feet in no time. Psst, Traveler. Based on the direction of this conversation, Paimon thinks it might be time for us to do our thing. Yep, yep! Time for the next phase of our journey to start for real! Um, what are you guys talking about? Uh, 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 sorry, didn't mean to freak out on you. I just... Uh, how should I put this? I really appreciate the offer. That's so unbelievably generous of you. But only people from that one are allowed to take part in the pilgrimage. Oh, Paimon thought we could just join your team and fight our way to the top and then become heroes. It's alright. Really. I... I mean... No one's ever offered to join my team before. Really? We're all usually on good terms, but whenever pilgrimage registration rolls around, it feels like everyone starts avoiding me. They don't make eye contact or bring up the pilgrimage. It's like they're afraid I'll ask them to join my team. I probably don't even need to explain the reason. I'm too weak. It's pretty obvious there's nothing to gain from being on my team. That really doesn't matter to you? Oh, don't you worry. The Traveler's strong enough for the three of us. Gods, dragons, giant narwhals. She can give them all a run for their mora. Oh, I get it. You are able to overlook my lack of strength because you're confident in your own skills. That's right. We always try to help people out during our travels. That's what makes a true adventurer. A true adventurer. You guys are really special. You know you're strong, but you don't take yourselves too seriously. That's exactly the kind of person I want to become. You're planning on staying in that land for a little while, right? Mind if I try to learn from you while you're here? Learn from us? Yeah, you know, like a disciple or a sidekick. You don't even have to teach me anything. I'll just observe. I promise I won't be in the way. Besides, I can take you to see the sights and introduce you to Natlin in the meantime. What do you think, Traveler? Seems like she really looks up to you. Oh, right! Didn't those people from earlier say the registration period was about to end? You don't need to focus on finding new teammates? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be able to manage it this close to the deadline anyway. I lose all the time. I'm used to it. Everyone around me is used to it. So it's fine. No one expects anything out of me. But 
If I manage to learn a thing or two from you, I might just pull off a win next time. <laughs> Thank you! Who would have thought I'd get the chance to meet such impressive adventurers? <laughs> Today must be my lucky day! Well, come with me, you two. I'll show you where I grew up and introduce you to our tribe, the Children of Echoes. <laughs> <laughs>